food waste, it's a really complex issue. When you think about how food gets to our plate, it's put in the ground, it's watered, it's fertilized, it's shipped, it's transported, it's stocked, it's marketed, all by people, all by energy, all resources that go into that. And so when the food then ends up being wasted, it's such a significant impact on emissions, on people's time. It's a significant impact on lost resources. And at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to solve. We're trying to solve how can we end wasted food. If you think about the resources that we put into food, they deserve more respect. If food waste was a country, it would be the the third largest greenhouse gas emitter. There are 63 million tons of wasted food in the U.S. A third of all food produced is, is wasted. We are all not using the last of the strawberries. Maybe cereal goes a little stale and we're throwing that away. You know, that is food loss. When you see it at scale and you see what a thousand pounds from an individual grocery store being thrown away every single day, and you see 250 grocery stores going to one location, that makes an impact. Divert is an impact technology company on a mission to protect the value of food. We're powered by an amazing team developing advanced technologies, sustainable infrastructure, all to drive a meaningful impact and change this world. 15 years ago, there was a real moment where we realized, hey, we could solve this. Like, we can be the company that develops integrated embedded solutions to tackle this problem. We can do that at scale, and that's what we're doing today. Divert is unique in that we're taking a holistic approach to fighting food waste. And we realize that there needs to be solutions across prevention, recovery, and recycling. We've spent the last 15 years really understanding the root causes of wasted food and understanding where there's gaps in the system. We want to prevent food waste from happening. We want to prevent food waste from going to a landfill. Our core proposition here is how do we find and create data that doesn't exist today to understand what's happening in the food value chain. When we think about data and our ability to capture what's happening inside of the stores, we start with an IoT tracking platform. When we receive a bin of unsold food from a store, that RFID IoT tracking platform tells us exactly which store that came from. Our customers value that data. We've gone to multi-camera systems. We've trained neural nets to understand, is there donatable food like loaves of bread, gallons of milk? Oftentimes, retailers don't know where they're wasting food, what types of food they're wasting. What we're able to do is frame by frame take pictures of everything that's passing through that conveyor system and say, hey, this apple is crushed or, you know, this day code is actually nowhere near expired. So let's let's tell our customers, hey, there's something going on up, upstream. So let's let's really figure this out. Our customers came to us and said, you are the largest processor of food waste in the state. This is what we need you to process for over 900 stores. And we looked at the material and we said, this is not the first step in that journey for your food. The first thing that we need to do is remove food that can be donated. We collect all of their unsold shelf-stable products. That comes back to their distribution centers where it's packaged, it's palletized, and then it's brought back to Divert's facility. We're then using computer vision and scanning technology to be able to scan the UPC codes of individual products. And then it's automatically sorted into three distinct categories for donation. They were throwing away 14 million food product items per year. We rescue 85% of those now. They go to food banks. And the remaining 15% that cannot be donated or rescued, we are processing. So really when we think about the infrastructure and the technology sort of coming together and working together to solve the problem, it's a very strong position to come from because it's very hard to replicate. That's a really powerful combination that we keep finding additional opportunities and scaling with our partners. Our goal is to drive food to those who need it. If we can't do that, then there's other ways to protect the value of that food. Let's take that food and get it into energy generation. There's carbon that's within this food waste, and otherwise that's being emitted to the atmosphere as a harmful greenhouse gas. What we're able to do is capture that to create low carbon fuel and offset fossil fuels. You think about the different jobs and roles here. We have people who are washing out bins, managing logistics, looking at maintenance schedules. 
and also people who are building revolutionary technology, people who are interfacing with our customers and building those strong partnerships. What brings us together is our mission. It's something that creates a lot of belonging across the organization. We bring in a lot of like-minded folks from different backgrounds that all have the same overall goal, save the planet and reduce the carbon footprint. I think being part of Divert means a lot to me because I'm part of the millennial generation. We have definitely grown up being really involved with understanding the impact of the climate crisis. I wanted to be part of something that gave back, something that was good for the environment, something that was a benefit to the community. These are people that are working hard every single day to solve this problem because it's something that they care deeply about. And that's really the culture that we've built within the business. And that's why we've been successful. Make an impact on this world? That's what we're trying to do. We come to work to drive meaningful solutions. We are going to protect the value of food. We're going to do it through responsible infrastructure. We're doing it through technology, and we're going to have an impact.